Welcome to Space Videos, my friends. We are going to look at today's sun, and we don't even have to leave our homes, which is just as well because we have a lot of clouds today. These views are from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, a spacecraft that studies the sun. It helps scientists learn how the sun affects Earth and space weather by capturing detailed images of the sun's activity, like solar flares and sunspots. This video contains thousands of images taken earlier today from 12 midnight to 9 a.m. UCT, that's Coordinated Universal Time. We here at Space Videos took the black and white images, combined them, and added a bit of color so you can see more clearly what is going on with our star today. The Solar Dynamics Observatory captures light in 10 different wavelengths, allowing us to see much more detail on the sun. This particular wavelength is known as 304 angstroms and is good to help us see surface detail as well as eruptions of prominences from the sun. An angstrom is a unit for measuring wavelengths of light. Today, this wavelength highlights plasma in the upper chromosphere and lower corona, making cooler, dense structures like filaments and prominences visible, while bright areas reveal regions of high plasma density. And in the video, we can see multiple bright patches, active regions, scattered across the solar disk, along with elongated dark bands, filaments, and a few bright emanations at the sun's edge, prominences. These features together indicate a fairly active sun with numerous magnetic regions and plasma structures visible. The sun's face is bustling with sunspots today. There are approximately 13 active sunspot groups scattered across the solar disk, with the majority in the northern hemisphere. This uptick continues a recent surge in sunspot numbers. Solar flare activity has been at low levels today, with only minor C-class flares being detected and no major eruptions occurred. The strongest flare of the day was a mid-level C4 class flare. This modest flare was not powerful enough to cause significant effects at Earth. There have been no significant Earth-directed coronal mass ejections observed today. A few smaller ones were detected, but these CMEs appear to be either narrow or directed away from the Earth and are not expected to impact our planet. Additionally, the Earth-facing solar disk currently has no large coronal holes situated near the equator. Coronal holes are regions that spew high-speed solar wind. Their absence means we don't anticipate any strong recurrent solar wind streams hitting Earth right now. Overall, without a direct CME or substantial coronal hole stream aimed our way, no impactful solar plasma clouds are en route to Earth at this time. The sun has just passed its solar maximum, a period when it is most active and is heading towards what is known as the solar minimum. This will occur over the next few years. But stay tuned to us here on Space Videos and in an upcoming video, we will take a deeper dive into what is going on with our star, the sun. Thank you for your continued support. Please do like, share, follow. It helps us a lot.